When thinking of really disturbing animals, the walrus is probably the last thing on a lot of people's minds. Like that cute little guy from the movie Elf, surely there's other animals that would be better to cover for the Halloween season. And that's what I would have thought too, until I found out what walruses were actually like. Specifically, a really disturbing and violent fact that no one on YouTube has talked about that has permanently ruined my perspective on what I thought was a cute, harmless animal. And since I didn't want to be the only one burdened with this information, I figured I'd share it with you guys. Before I tell you this bloody secret, let's take a moment to objectively look at a walrus. Forget the cute, cartoony versions you've seen throughout pop culture and look at how this thing actually looks. Lumpy, squishy, human-colored skin. An oddly man-like face, something that ancient artists took note of. And of course, it, you know, has two gigantic swords attached to a 12-foot body. Just imagine for a moment that you've never heard of a walrus, never seen a picture of one, and all of a sudden saw this thing slowly rise from the depths as it approaches your dangling legs, surrounded by nothing but cold, dark water and this living monster. That would be horrifying. This thing is objectively pretty unsettling looking. And if you still don't think so, watch the movie Tusk and try not to have nightmares. But this isn't an animal that just looks kind of dangerous. They have attacked and killed a decent amount of people. Most walrus attacks usually happen in water, where they capsize boats and either indirectly or directly drown those who are on board. But the freakiest stories to me are when walrus hunters in the Arctic are standing on an ice sheet only to have a walrus bust up from beneath their feet and smash the ice they're standing on in an effort to attack. When the hunters run away to escape, the walrus swims under the ice after them, busting through from time to time trying to grab them. That's like something from an actual horror movie. And walrus attacks in captivity also happen. In 2016, a tourist was taking selfies with a walrus at a wildlife park in China when it grabbed him from behind and pulled him into the water. A zookeeper on deck who had been working with the walrus for 10 years had dove in to help but was also grabbed and drowned along with the tourist. If you thought that stuff was kind of disturbing, get ready because it's time for the traumatizing fact that forever ruined my view of walruses. If you Google what does a walrus eat, you're going to be treated to some pretty nice PG answers like crab, shrimp, and specifically clams. Walruses fiend for clams and a large part of their biology is adapted for eating them. Some people think walruses use their tusks to pry open clam shells, but how they actually get the goods is with an insane amount of suction power. They suck the meat out of the shell effortlessly like an industrial vacuum cleaner, a feeding strategy which I like to call giving a death hickey. Now sure, having enough suction to slurp up a basketball through a silly straw is pretty effective on clams, but what about something bigger, specifically seals? Now, last warning before we get pretty graphic. Even though walrus and seals are close relatives, they can't resist such a meaty snack. But if you look at a walrus's skull, they don't really have that much to chew with. So, how does one get some delicious seal meat? Well, the walrus grabs the seal with its front flippers, opens up its mouth, wraps it around the nose of the poor seal, and turns on the vacuum, sucking out the brains through the seal's nose while it's still alive. Yeah, that is freaking horrifying, especially since it's very much capable of doing the same to a human. After the brain is slurped up, it'll continue to death hickey other parts of the body, sucking them right into the vacuum cleaner of doom. So, when you lie awake in your bed tonight imagining what it would feel like to have rough, bristly whiskers rubbing against your face as a set of squishy walrus lips wrap around your nose and suck your brains out, just think of this cute picture of a baby walrus and everything I just told you will be slightly less traumatizing. I'll see you guys next time.